Welcome back, young scholars. Quarter two, distance learning intro to ERWC expository reading and writing curriculum. This is your English class for your senior year. Please watch this video and enjoy to find out a little bit more about this course and about your teacher, that's me, Mr. Blackwell. And yes, you can see my face here. You can see that picture of me. I graduated from Valhalla High School in the year 2000. So I'm proud to be back teaching future Valhalla graduates. Yes, that's you. I did go on to SDSU. Aztecs for life after high school. I look forward to sharing much more of my experience with all of you, whether you are staying in distance learning for quarter number two, or whether I will be lucky enough to see you in the classroom this week. I look forward to getting to know all of you guys. So first off, what is ERWC? This is a course about real world reading and writing, meaning that the writings that we do in this class and the pieces that we read will fit into your life and will help you in your life after high school. Our first quarter or second quarter writings will include application essays, for your college experience, cover letters for future jobs, letters to supervisors or bosses. You'll be writing many reflections and, of course, some critical analysis, both of poetry, of nonfiction, of fiction. You will get a wide variety of learning in this course. This is a class about success in your future. I couldn't think of anything more relevant, including our first unit, which is titled, What's Next? Finally, this is a course about rhetoric. I know that that word can turn some people off, but what rhetoric is, is simply the art of speaking, writing, and communicating effectively. Rhetoric is a skill that you will all need in your life after high school for success both in your jobs and in your personal life. Now to the nitty gritty. In this course, I will be using and you will be using Schoology, no Google Classroom, all one location. I'll be using Schoology for all of your assignments, communication. I will be posting this very video in Schoology and sending it to you via a Schoology message. Just a reminder that you should be checking Schoology. If your teacher is using Google Classroom, you should be checking that too. You should be checking your email every day. And when you are in Schoology, make sure that you are checking both the materials section and the updates section. Updates in Schoology is like the stream in Google Classroom. That's where I'll be posting videos, additional information, links, articles, all kinds of good stuff. We'll go over this more in our classes this week or in our office hours on Thursday. More about that to come. So the syllabus, it's in Schoology right now. Please read over it. Read over it with your parent and or guardian. It includes information about expectations, grading, assignments. It has the codes for our class. Remind, please join Remind. And you know we will be using Turnitin.com. So be sure to join all of those codes, all of those resources. Remind, Turnitin, all that good stuff. Check out the syllabus. Assignments and due dates. Each week I will post all assignments on Monday. I try to get them out early in the morning. Sometimes I'll be a little bit later on that, but all assignments posted Monday. All assignments will be due the following Sunday at the end of the week before midnight. That's pretty standard. 
if anything else is different, any due dates are different other than Sunday, I will be sure to make that very clear, both in the assignment, the directions for the assignment, and you'll be able to check that due date on Schoology. Communication. Please don't be a stranger. Communicate with me. I think you should check in at least once or twice a week outside of doing your required assignments. There are many, many ways to get a hold of me. You can use email. That's usually the best way. I'm checking it and I respond. You can send me messages through the Remind app. I, I am monitoring that. I will get back to you very quickly. That works good for just quick little questions, that kind of stuff. Or you can send me a message on Schoology. Perhaps not the best way, but I, I will get back to you if you send me messages that way. Communication times. When is it the best time to reach out to me? When you think of it. Please don't be a stranger again. But I should say it's best to reach out to me during normal school or work hours. That is when you will be sure to get a hold of me. I will respond quickly. Reminder. Just because you are working in the middle of the night or on the weekends, that doesn't mean that I am going to be working at those times. I try to separate my work life or my school life from my personal life. I think that's important in these times of online learning. I recommend that you keep a normal school schedule. Get out of bed in the morning, shower up, clean up, just like you would be going to school. Set that routine. Create that balance in your own life between your schoolwork and your personal life. Office hours, very important. I know that many of you are choosing to stay online or your parents or guardians are forcing you to stay online during this time. That's all right. It is tough. There's not quite as much support if you are completely online. But to help support those of you that are online, or if you're coming in person and you just need a little additional help, I will be hosting office hours every Thursday on Zoom from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. Yes, Thursday afternoons, I will open up a Zoom room. You can sign in anytime during that hour. I'll be sitting there waiting to answer your questions, provide you a little bit more instruction, whatever you need. More information on Zoom office hours to come out later this week and each additional week. Finally, I wouldn't be an English teacher if I didn't leave you with something to ponder, to think about. So, as you look at this peaceful scene, please allow me to read you a poem. This is a poem by Oriah Mountain Dreamer. It is titled, The Invitation. It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for, and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are squaring your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow, if you have been opened by life's betrayals or have become shriveled and closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it or fade it or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own. If you can dance with wildness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes without cautioning us to be careful, to be realistic, to remember the limitations of being human. It doesn't interest me if the story you are telling me is true. I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul. If you can be faithless and therefore trustworthy. I want to know if you can see beauty even when it's not pretty. 
every day. And if you can source your own life from its presence. I want to know if you can live with failure, yours and mine, and still stand on the edge of the lake and shout to the silver of the full moon, yes! It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after the night of grief and despair, weary and bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done to feed the children. It doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will stand in the center of the fire with me and not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else fails away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, young scholars. I look forward to a beautiful, wonderful quarter number two, full of learning, getting to know each other, and hopefully some darn good times. Have a great day, young scholars.